Hey guys, Jason here. In today's episode, we're going to be showing how to use color as a mask. To demonstrate this, I'm first going to import a bitmap, and I'm just going to use this USA flag. I'm going to start by reducing the colors, and I'm just going to use the bitmap to vector tool to reduce the colors down. We're going to reduce this down to three colors, red, white, and blue. It looks like it's going to condense it to a red, pink, and blue, but that's okay. Now I need to add a little bit of a border so that I can capture the ends of the flag. I go to model, and I'm just going to add a border. I only need it on the left and the right side and we're going to add an inch to each side. Now what I want to do is just outline the different parts. I'm going to select the red to capture the stripes and now I'm going to select the blue to capture the union. And if we click on our display material button and our show vectors button you can see that we've captured the flag and stars. Now I'm going to create a border around this flag and I'm just going to use my create rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in here and draw an outline on the outline outside of this flag and we'll just create that box there that's going to give us an outline of our flag now I want to make this into a 3D object, so I'm going to use a sign base. And if you haven't seen how to do this, I will link the video uh, for the trick on how this works. Now I'm going to use the border vector, and I'm going to zero outside of this vector. And that's going to give us our outline of our flag. Now if I select everything but the border, and I use my scale relief tool, I'm going to turn the vectors off, but we're going to use selected vector and I'm just going to use that to give us a raised flag look like this. I'm going to make it deep so that it's easy to see. Now that I have my 3D flag, let's go back to the 2D view. Now, I want to show you how to change the color of the stars for this demonstration. We're going to be using color as a mask. So we want our stars a different color as the background, and we also want our stripes a different color as the background. So if I right-click the bar at the bottom, I can go to Add Colors. This also can be found at the top under Bitmap Color, Add Colors. It's just easier to right-click and go that way. Now, I just need to pick two colors to add to my color bar. We're going to pick yellow, and we're also going to pick this green. I'm just going to press OK. That's going to add those to my color bar down here. Now, what I want to do is I want to select the vectors for the stars. Now that I have the stars selected, we're going to make sure that that yellow is in our secondary slot. And we're going to go to Bitmap and Flood Fill Vector. That's going to turn our stars to yellow. I'm going to do the same thing with the pink stripes. To do this, I'm going to select, I believe I can select the whole thing and go to green. Green, flood fill vector. That got our stars too. We didn't want that stars to go. I flood fill vector with the green hoping to get just the stripes but it captured the stars as well. Really quickly we're just going to fix that again by selecting the stars again and we're going to flood fill vector with the yellow. And now we have different colors for each of our sections. Now if we go back to our 3D view we can use these colors as a mask for our smooth relief tool. When we click our smooth relief leaf tool now we can pick a selected color. If I pick the color of the stars, only the stars are going to be smooth. And this allows you to get sort of a different effect with your stars, and you can give them a different smoothing effect. The degree or amount of smoothing from the top of the star down to about the middle of the star is affected by the smooth strength. You also can select a different color. So if we wanted the union or just the blue part to be smoothed, we could smooth the bottom of those stars and leave the tops flat and this would give you sort of a smooth ramping into the middle of those stars. You can select this and press apply and go back to the stars and do it from both directions and have them meet together. Let's undo that. If I pick the green stripes, you can see that the just the top of the stripes are being smoothed. I could also pick the red, and we would get the inside of the stripes smoothed. The same trick can be used in the Scale Relief tool by selecting selected color as the mask. This gives you the ability to scale different parts of your design without scaling the rest. The same way that the selected vector works. And that's how you can use color as a mask. I hope this tip has helped guys. If you find this content valuable, give us a like. Share this with someone. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next one.